Over my left shoulder is the new addition of the building. You can see the big glass cube that houses our planetarium. And over on my right shoulder, you can see the new observatory. So the big dome on top of the old mill building is where our telescope is housed on the fourth floor. You can also see the brand new glass exterior and the terrace where we set up telescopes to do all kinds of great viewing. Let's go inside and take a look. When you enter the lobby, you'll see uh, what looks like a sculpture. This is actually the tripod that holds up our Alvin Clark telescope. These three legs are rooted in bedrock. They go about 30 feet down to bedrock, and uh, the leg is bolted to that. They're 40 feet long, and they weigh 11,000 pounds each. So the total structure of steel here is about 40,000 pounds. All of that to keep our telescope stable. So if a telescope wobbles, you can imagine we get a sky that is not stable. So this is a very important element, but it also is a great architectural element for the museum and its new lobby. We're in the Boeing Observatory here on the fourth floor of the State Museum, just underneath the dome. This Alvin Clark telescope is a great historic instrument. It came from New York City. It's a 12 and 3 8 inch refractor, and it was once at Columbia University in New York where they used it for research for many years. Right now, it's a more of an educational instrument, and that's why we get to do uh, what we get to do with school groups. School groups can come here, of course, or we can do great distance learning. It has a motor drive now, so it can be driven from a computer, and that allows us to do distance learning, control from your classroom. It's a 12 and 3 8 refractor, which gives us a great view of the night sky here in Columbia allows us to see some wonderful things, planets of course, nebula, clusters, and some of the other more bright objects in our sky. We have some great programs for schools. You can come and you can learn about lenses, you can learn about our solar system, and then you also can come into the observatory, look at the sun, or even come for evening observing sessions. If you're a teacher and you want to come for a distance learning program, we have special training that allows you to learn how to run this telescope from your classroom. We look forward to hearing from you.